Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. My guest now is a gentleman who hails from uh, Kilkelly near Knock in uh, County Mayo. Now, he's a gentleman uh, with a, a lot of uh, strings to his bow, I suppose you could say. He has written a couple of books of uh, poetry. The last one he wrote was called Rhyming Through Mayo, uh, looking uh, at the uh, various scenic sites, etc., across the fair county of uh, Mayo. Now, he's also an inventor and uh, has a, a new game, an educational game, which is out and going in absolute storm. I'm delighted to say hello to the one and only Peter Costello. Peter, how are you? Hello, Jerry. Thank you very much for having me on the show. A real pleasure. I'm well, good. Tell me this, Lisa. You, 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 you're not a full time writer or anything else like that. But you've done. You do an awful lot of writing. I do a lot of writing. Yeah, I actually work in the buildings. It's my full time job. But uh, I've had this hobby for probably forty years, and uh, I do a lot of writing in verse. And uh, I've written as I've written two books, but I also do a lot of writing for. Uh, um, weddings. I do best men's speeches on, in verse if people want me to write a verse to them so that they can read out at the wedding. It saves them a lot of trouble because I have all the hard work done and they just read it out and do the best men's speech from a verse that I've written. So um, that's pretty popular here at the moment now. I would say that. I definitely would say that. That's, uh, that sounds absolutely fascinating. Yeah, it, t- it takes the first round because a lot, of, a lot of people don't enjoy the they do know if they have to come up with a speech afterwards, but if it's written out for them, it's great. Indeed, indeed, absolutely, absolutely fantastic. That is uh, that is excellent. How did you how did you come to to to, to do this? Because uh, it's very unusual uh, to be doing uh, you know the best band speech in in verse. Did somebody ask you one day about it? Uh, well, years ago there was um, I was involved in the in the football here in in uh, Mayo, and uh, we were fundraising. So I wrote a verse about um, the fundraising we were doing, and it went down very well, actually. So then people started asking me to do verses about different things. And that's, I said, that's about 40 years ago, and since then I'm writing a lot of verses. I have actually cards, greeting cards uh, as well. I have uh, 27 different types of greeting cards, special occasion cards, we say, for birthdays, anniversaries, weddings, um, christenings, all that. And uh, there's a long verse, there's about 200 words in each of the cards. So they're exceptionally, they're, they're a lovely cards. There's a lovely story in each of them. Oh, that's so they're, um, they're, yeah, they're going, I do plus life cards as well for people for retirements and for um, birthdays, special birthdays, Christmas, whatever it is. Right. I do, I do a lot of writing like that. Right, okay. And, I mean, do, do you sell these cards, like, commercially? I do. I just sell them, I just sell them online, yeah. Right. I just, sell, I just sell a lot of the cards online that I have already done, which are the 27 different types I have. But then I just do once off people to commission me to write a special card for a special occasion or to write a verse and they'll get a friend. And, but I can write, with say, a verse for somebody that's retiring and uh, all their colleagues might want to say something. So they'd all give me a bit of information and I'd put it in and I'd write a story about this person retiring and they would put a picture of a man and frame it and then present it to him on the night or her on the night. So it's just something that they'd have for, if you can't go out and buy in a shop, it's just personal, personal gift to them. Indeed, indeed, that's a, that, that sounds absolutely fantastic idea. And uh, tell me this, you, you sell them online, uh, how, have you got a website or what is it? I have got a website for the cards. The website is called reasonsforrhymes.com. Right. That would be reasons, R-E-A-S-O-N-S, for, it would be the digit for, reasons for rhymes, R-H-Y-M-E-S, um, dot com. You can see the cards there, you can get a look at the verses of it. Absolutely superb. And some of them. Superb. You can see the book there as well, I have a book to rhyme for me, that you mentioned earlier, the one is on. Right, it's a, it's a, it's on it as well. I believe that the book has been very, very well received. Uh, both books, actually. Yeah, the book's been very well received. It's done, it's done the rounds. It was a, it was a great gift, actually. A lot of people here in Mayo sent it over to overseas. So, so it's all over the UK this year. It's gone to Australia and Canada as well. But uh, it's, it's, it was a lovely gift. Was like up to Christmas, people sent it, sent it over. It's just something from the homeland. Indeed, and there's, there's a lot of scenery. I actually, I actually went round 
went round my own and took pictures of the places and actually learned a lot about them because uh, I learned the history of a lot of the places. And uh, so I wrote about them there and I put them into this book. And um, it was just something that I'd done over maybe a two year period. There was no panic doing it. I used to do it in my spare time, wet days or evenings. And eventually it all seemed to pass, got it published and got it out there. And uh, it went down great, to be honest with you. Oh, that's but I enjoyed doing it. It was a great experience. Indeed, that's, that's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Now, listen, as, as well as all the writing that you do, Peter, your uh, your latest claim to fame is uh, a game. Now, this is a, a game. It's an educational game. Tell me, how, how did all this come about? Yeah, it's an educational game called Sunstart. The reason I call it Sunstart is because it helps kids when they're starting learning their sums. So we went to school... We didn't call it maths. It was some of the time. When you'd be doing the one, two, three, four. So um, a few years back, my daughter was doing a child care course, and uh, she was asked, they were doing a project, and she was asked, could she come up with an educational game? So she was at home one evening. We were chatting about it, and uh, together, anyway, we this idea came to us, and uh, we cut it out on a bit of paper, and then we'd done a for a job, we've done it on a bit of cardboard, and uh, we found out that this actually works, that you put, you could cut the slots out and get the proper numbers to fit into it. Uh, hard to explain probably on the radio, but there are tin slots on the board, and we just say, for example, the, the biggest slot is, is the tin slot, and you can put you can put tin number ones into that slot, they'll fit perfectly, or five number twos will fit perfectly into it. A two number fives will fit perfectly. It's the size of the pieces that does the, the trick. You can't put 11 into the tennis slot. You can only put 10. If you put 9, it won't fill it. So what it does really, it gives the child confidence. Because once they have it filled, they know it has to be right. And on the tennis slot alone, there are 42 different combinations that you can put into it. So it's, uh, it's, it's, a, very, it's a fun game. When you're playing it, it's like a jigsaw, made from plywood, but you can also have a competitive edge to it because you can play with the dice, and you can have two children with the playing odds against evens, and so on. So it's uh, it's educational and it's fun at the same time. Right. That's a, that's fascinating. Now, uh, you, uh, you've got a, a website for that as well. There's a website for that called www.sumstarts.com. Right. And you can see there's a little there's a little animated video there, so it'll give you an, an idea how it works. Yes, indeed. And uh, what age so, group roughly? Uh, what age group is it? Is it aimed at, Peter? The, that particular game is aimed between at kids between three and eight. It's also good for special needs any children that have disability in learning. It's good for them regardless what age they are. But it's used mostly for kids between three and eight. Just just are starting to learn their their maths. Right, excellent. Now you've uh, you, you you've been uh, selling these like the proverbial hotcakes uh, since they, they were since you brought them out. Yes, they only came out they only came out a few weeks ago, and at the moment they're flying out, which is great. And I haven't really started putting them into the schools yet, but a lot of the teachers that I've talked about told me that they will be ordering them in the in the new year. But at the moment, I've just got to. To houses where there's young kids they actually use them before they go to school because they give their kids an idea of their sons before they go in, pre- in preschools um, parents just it's a, it's a safe toy it's made from timber and kids even if they don't understand what they're doing they love filling the slots and then they get into the hang of this yeah but two fours and making eight they fit exactly into the eight so it just gives them an idea of how it works Right, absolutely fascinating. It really is, and uh, it, it's a, a simple uh, concept in a way. But here again, uh, the the best inventions in the world are uh, are simple. It, it's amazing, actually, when I brought it to the the teachers first, just to ask them what they thought of it. Now, I did get a lot of help from them along the way because they gave me a bit of advice of what how I could improve it and all that. So I took everything on board, and uh, but it's so simple, but yet. None of them have ever seen it before. So we actually did a bit of research to see if there's anything like it on the market. And there isn't. And it, it's hard to believe that the likes of it is not on the market because it's so simple you think it should be in every school. Yes. 
Indeed. But um, it's, it's just amazing. It's probably so simple that nobody even thought about it. Like we had, I had done this maybe seven years ago for a start, and I still left it there until the COVID lockdown, the first lockdown. That's when I started working on it again, actually. Because uh, when, my, when I started the story there about my daughter doing the course, she brought it down for the, the project she was doing, and they didn't use it in the college because they actually thought it was too good, that she must have brought it somewhere. So it was never used. So we brought it home and it was left in the room then, as I said, for a few years until the COVID lockdown. And I had time in my hands. I decided I'd take this game up again and do something with it because if the thought it was that good in the college, you know, there must be something to it. So um, I started working on it at the first lockdown and uh, it actually started from there. I just kept improving with them and went down to different people and got their opinions on it. And uh, it was all done slow process. It's gone on for about a year and a half at this stage. It's only now that it's, it's actually it's manufactured and it's just ready to go out. Absolutely. And I'm very fantastic. happy with the way it's turned out now, to be honest with you. It's really, it's really nice. Uh, it's lovely in colour. Well, they're all, it's full of colours. As you can see it on, the, on a, the website. If you look on the website, you can see all the colours in it. Yes. It's, uh, it's 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 really I'll have to say it, uh, it's absolutely incredible. Well, you know, well done. Uh, the, the the website is some some start dot com. Uh, simple as that. S U M S T R T dot com. Excellent. Yes, uh, it's worth having a look just to see see what the you know what your listeners think of it or what you think of yourself. Indeed, it's uh, it's so simple. Indeed, indeed, truly, truly incredible. Listen, Peter, well done. You're you're an incredibly uh, uh, talented gentleman, uh, both with the uh, the rhyming and the uh, the cards, and now this uh, this game, uh, some start. Uh, it could be the start of uh, possibly uh, other inventions to come in the future. Well, I have a few ideas that I can I can work on with this as well. There's a lot of games I can add to it. Um, there is a game I say already. You play with the dice, but there are a lot of different games that can be added to it. So. The next lot I bring out, I hope to improve the game a little bit and add a lot more games to it. Excellent, excellent indeed. That's my plan at the moment. That's excellent. Peter, listen, it's been fascinating, fascinating speaking to you. I wish you uh, all the success in the world with uh, all of you doing. You're a busy man, no doubt. Listen, have a great Christmas and a, and a brighter uh, 2022. Thank you very much. And a very happy Christmas to you and to all your listeners. Thank you indeed. My guest, uh, Peter Costello. Thank you.